Hey friends and welcome back to the second video of our symbolic expression series for MATLAB. And in this episode I want to talk to you about how you can simplify and prettify your equations. So let's jump right into it. So as you can see right here, we in the first step we simplify the equations. We define a variable, a symbolic variable or symbolic object called a, just sims a. And then we define a function which says a plus 1 times a minus 1. And then we want to simplify this function 1 that we have defined. So we do this and there's many many outputs but let's focus on the first one so this is our function as you can see right here and you can see that MATLAB has simplified the equation for us so it's nothing else than a squared minus 1 so very convenient to use in case you have like a big expression and want to use simplify on it you can just do that by typing in simplify and then your function moving on now we will apply this on a trigonometry so we also define, uh, we again define a, a symbolic object called x, so sims x. Then we define our function 2, which is cos cosine squared plus sine squared. But you have to make sure that this x is in brackets, so that we have an actual function. And this is nothing else than a trigonometric identity. And you might know it from school or from university. And if you simplify this equation, you will see that this was our initial variable function 2. And if we simplify this, we get 1. So MATLAB knows exactly this tri trigonometric identity, and we get 1. So moving on to fractions, uh, if we want to prettify an argument. So function 3 has been defined here. As you can see, it's nothing else than this line here. And if we say pretty function 3, MATLAB gives you the whole expression in a more easy to understand notation as you can see. So cosine of x to the power of 3 minus 5 divided by 5x plus x to the power or 3 or x cubed. So very convenient in terms uh, this whole bracketing massacre is a bit too overwhelming for you. Not in this case maybe, but maybe in another case. You can just type in pretty and MATLAB will give you a pretty version of your fractions or of your whole expression. The next thing we are going to have a look at is expand. So let's say we define an object called y, symbolic object called y. Then we define a function which looks like this. So we have it right here. And then we want to expand this whole thing. So multiply this part with this second part. And if you type in expand of this function, you get the whole expression, as you can see right here. And what we can also do with this function right here is to collect everything. This will sort the coefficients. So if we move a little bit to the bottom, you can see that it sorts after the highest power of x and then moves to y. So x uh, cubed right here, x squared, x and then we have y so that's how we collect and if we type in collect y so the function then separate and then the variable we want to collect everything with so it will start with y and then moves on to the to another variable so if we want to have a bracket let's say with where every y occurs but move it out of the bracket we can see that these variables are dependent of y but uh, this has been put into a bracket and here's our y so in the next step and the last step, very quickly and brief and crisp video again, we will substitute values. So we say x equals 1 and we say y equals 2 and then we take our function 4 that we have defined right here. So this is our function 4 as you might remember. And if we just say subs, this will just substitute value that values that we have defined previously. So if we put in x1 right here now and y equals 2, this will give us nothing else than 15. This can be used to check specific function values for instance. So very convenient functions as you've seen. So to wrap everything up, so we have to work with simplify now. We have used the pretty function. We have used expand to expand our multiplication or operation. We have used collect to collect either after the standard variable or to collect after a variable where we precisely or explicitly give the variable name after a comma separator. And we have learned how to substitute values into our function by using a very easy function called subs. In the next video, I want to show you how you can differentiate and integrate inside of MATLAB by using very easy functions or predefined functions inside of MATLAB. With that being said, make sure to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and as always, make sure to keep engineering your mind. See you in the next video.